you find value in the content we provide, consider the tip jar. All the details are in the show notes of every episode. Thanks in advance. This has been an ACB community call. Today's Unmute Presents Community Call was hosted on Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Unmute. A couple announcements here at the top. We wanted to remind everyone that uh, we're going to do the question of the day and then answer questions also. We want to make sure everyone understands that we're going to do first question and then we're going to go to the next one. If we have time, we'll take second questions but we want to make sure everyone has a chance to get their question answered. So if we have time at the end or we get through everyone, we'll take second questions. Also, please be respectful to everyone the same way you would want your questions answered to give them the same opportunity to get their questions answered. And also, the tech question of the day is wearables. So do you use them? If so, what do you use? What do you like about it? If you don't, why or what do you hate about it? So wearables, glasses, uh, rings, watches, all the things. So that is the tech question of the day. And with me, as always, I got Michael Babcock. How's it going, Michael? It is going well, Marty. I wear Meta Ray-Bans now on a fairly regular basis, and I wear an Apple Watch. Uh, so those are my wearable. You still run around with the Shocks Open Run Pros on my head, but since I've been using the Meta Ray-Bans, I find them to be a lot more utilitarian than the Open Run Pros that only provide headphone uh, accommodations. So that's my wearables, and uh, I yesterday we published Technically Working TW74. Um, you, of course, hear Demosi's adventure as he checks in and shares what he's uh, got going on with some of the new routes that, or, well, the new route that he took on in Alabama, and uh, you will also hear some other banter that we have about a couple of interesting topics. On Sunday, Digital Bytes. Uh, sharing app chaos marty shared with you uh, i'm sorry sharing apps marty showed with you how to share an app from the app store uh, chris shared a segment called taming app chaos that's where chaos came from so uh, explaining how she has her app set up on both android and ios and then recording with vocaster uh, i demonstrate the best way to explain to you how to record jaws or other content in windows on its own track using Reaper as your digital audio workstation. Marty sat down and had a conversation with a gentleman named Jonathan Price. So on Friday, we published Jonathan Price Unmuted. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more about his audio editing adventures and how he came to be where he is now. On Thursday, Chris and Marty sat down and introduced you to a show called Mac Chat, where it, it, this is going to be your new Mac show on the third uh, Thursday of every month, uh, talking everything Mac. No, I don't think they're going to talk too much about iPhone, but sometimes those lines get a little blurry, so we'll see. And then, of course, there was the Unmute Presents community call that was hosted last Tuesday. So let's jump into it. And Sheila, who's our first hand today? Christy. Hey, Christy. Hello. How are y'all doing? Good, good. How are you? Good, good. I, uh, my question is, I'm looking for a, <clears throat> a Bluetooth keyboard, a good Bluetooth keyboard for my iPhone, one that's easy to navigate. I want a numpad on it, um, and one that will just really work well with voiceover and not give me a bunch of keys that don't work or, you I know, it's... I would say Logitech is always a good way to go. They have really good keyboards. They've been doing it for a long time, and they ba make both Mac and Windows, and they have them both in the shorty versions without the um, number pad. And then also they make one that's regular full size with the number pad. And I believe Michael also has a couple suggestions of things that he's got, right, that you use, Michael? I am using the Logitech MX keys for Mac, and that has a number pad. Uh, it's a full-size keyboard. So as Marty said, Logitech or Apple, of course, has their own keyboards as well uh, that you could explore. But uh, hopefully that helps. 
I will say the well, Apple ones are extremely expensive and depending yeah, on the color, yeah. it could be more expensive. So if you got black instead of white, that's like way more money for some reason. Right, right. Well, my, my I'm wanting to use it with an iPhone, not a, not a Mac. Uh, or right, but any of those ones that we talked about will work. The Logitech one also will uh, connect up to three devices. So if you had other computers or devices, you can have them hooked up to all three and you just hit the button oh, okay. for each so device. So say like you want to use your right. iPhone, yeah. Right, so, right. So, so like say if I wanted to use an iPhone and my husband's iPhone, I could just hook, have one keyboard for both yep. of our phones, right? Yep, yep. Correct. so my Logitech oh, wow. MX Keys Mac is connected to a Windows machine. I know, I know. It's connected to a Windows machine, an iPhone, and then it's also connected to my blind shell, so I can switch between all three of those devices with a push of a button. And it's Logitech MS... MX is an X-ray. MX Keys, Kilo, Echo, Yankee, Sierra. Okay, okay. All Perfect. right. Thanks, well, Christy. Yep, thanks. Abraham. Hello, Ibrahim. Hey, Ibrahim. You are unmuted, but we don't hear you. Now you should be able to hear me. Yep, now we can hear you. I hope you guys can help. I have the iPhone 15 Pro uh, and on 17.6.1. And for some reason, uh, this has been happening, I think, for the last few versions. When, even though I am not on silent, um, I won't hear notifications. Notifications one thing. Do not disturb is not on. And I can't figure it out. I have to toggle it every few times and maybe I don't know what fixes it eventually, but eventually it gets fixed. Inside and the control panel or the control center, there's a mute button that you like can turn it on or off and it will do the same thing that the side mute button used to do. On the 15 uh, Pros, they now have that uh, action button up on the top left side, which will place yeah. the mute button. So now you have to do the muting and the unmuting if you want to do that in the control center. I do do that. So uh, I, must I do the, the muting and muting with the action button. Yeah. So I must have missed something here, Ibrahim. Are you saying some of your notifications don't come through? Yeah. I don't or, yeah. or some of your calls don't or, ring or, or something like that? Yeah. I don't know if it's a bug in iOS. I think just... it is because my wife's phone has that issue as well. Um, Cause she gets a f- call from a certain number and I would say 20% of the time it rings all the other time it goes straight to voicemail. So I'm, I'm suspecting it's an issue with iOS. If anyone has any ideas for Ibrahim, please raise your hand and we'll be glad to earlier, share those with earlier, um I was also in clubhouse and I got the call. Uh, it did not ring at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though yeah. I was not on silent, which is very really strange. The other thing you could try, I don't think it'll make a big difference, but the other thing you could try is to go into your phone and set the uh, phone notification to full screen instead of to just a banner. Okay, I'll try. Yep. But I don't think that's going to help too much. But thanks, Ibrahim. Sorry, couldn't help you okay. more. If anyone has any ideas, raise your hand. Sheila, who do we got next? Gregory. Hey, Gregory. Hey, Gregory. Hey, guys. Yeah, I I use the Ray Bands and I also use the Celeste glasses. Um, I really like them. Um, I have. What's your opinion reading. on the difference? I'm curious if you have an opinion on the difference between the two. Well, Ray Bands the hardware is much superior. Uh, Celeste, I get um, what I call blind feedback. It's actually blind friendly. I get um, things that I can use as a blind person. I sent recording to Michael. And I think you heard it. Um, it just guides me down a sidewalk. It'll guide me around objects. It's uh, there's a lot. There's it still needs a lot of work, but it, it's uh, I really the potential enjoy. is there. Oh yes, it's there. Um, I just hope the the guys stick with it, and maybe they can find some more money or somebody. Yeah. Somewhere. Um, I don't really have a question. I just uh, I'm still struggling with trying to get figure out how to do audio off my phone. But uh, I just can't get the right cables or anything. But I think I'm going to go with the the um, Zoom H4, I think, just to dive in. and H4 Central? Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. It's right in the middle. It's, it's a good device. It'll do everything you need it to do. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, not, I'm going to give it a I think I'm really going to like doing this kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Gregory. Sam. 
Hey, Pam. I Hi, guess Pam. you uh, mean me, since there yes, are several Pams in the community. Uh, you're, um, you're the only one that's here. You're the only one that's got. Well, the I hadn't race, even so. looked at the. I had not <laughs> even looked at the participants list. But yes, ma'am. I'm, multi, you. I'm, you. I'm multitasking. But um, question of the day: I don't use wearables other than a Bluetooth headset. I'm kind of old school, um, and I enjoyed seeing some of you at. Alabama convent ACD convention this past weekend. I always enjoy it when I can go up to the AT guys booth there, and uh, it was really neat. Yeah, I heard so you met Demasi. For, yes, absolutely. I saw him there, yep. and uh, for Abraham, I'll tell you, my go-to always is if your phone is doing something weird like your all of a sudden your alerts are not going off when they should uh or suddenly something else is acting a little wonky just restart your phone and it's amazing what that can take care of so perfect Pat. that's Thank my you very much. story and i am actually still sticking to it <laughs> well, and that's good. Uh, and just as a tip for Ibrahim and Marty recorded this content. Oh, it's been over a year now. Uh, you can always, the fastest way is to just tell Siri, restart this phone or restart this device and it will restart it. Sheila, who do we got next? Jane. Hey, hey Jane. Jane. <laughs> Hello. Um, I have a couple questions for you. Um, one being i'm trying to figure out i have the same problem as everybody else with the <laughs> headphones and multitasking and i can't use airpods because they grab the audio from wherever if it's my mac or my iphone but would the uh meta glasses maybe help with some of these problems of so so you're trying to listen to two different devices in one pair of headphones, right? Well, trying is the word. Successful, not okay. really. So I have a couple of solutions for you. Uh, the Meta Ray-Bans will only let you connect to one device at a time via Bluetooth. However, because of the form factor of the Meta Ray-Bans, I was telling people before we got started today uh, that I will wear my AKG over-the-ear headphones while wearing my Meta Ray-Bans, and then I can hear my Meta Ray-Bans and I can hear the computer. So that's one solution that, that could work for you because of the form factor, the Ray-Bans don't impact wh where your ears are. That might not work for everyone. Um, if you have a Vocaster 2, you could Bluetooth or connect with a cable, your phone to your Vocaster, and then you would hear your computer and your device in your headphones as well. Uh, you can do that with other audio interfaces or mixers too. Oh, well, I have a Vocaster 1. I guess that's the same... Well, I don't have the Bluetooth feature, but... Ah, so you would, yeah, if you have the Vocaster 1, you don't have the Bluetooth feature. That is a disadvantage. So, yeah, that's what I do to get around that, is I just wear my Ray-Bans, have them connected to my iPhone or Android, and then I put uh, over-the-ear headphones on because then the sound is directed from the Ray-Bans directly into your ears. Often I have to turn it almost all the way down, um, and then I'm able to hear both devices at once. Okay, so. we will try... Hopefully that helps you out and let us know. Okay, Jane? Sheila, who do we got next? Lori. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Hi, guys. I'm Hello. sorry I'm late, but my Wi-Fi wasn't working. It was having issues, so I had to um, restart my phone. I had to uh, reset my cordless phone. It was crazy. So yep, the, only thing I, <laughs> you know, yeah, the only thing I did not have to reset was my Lady A. So that's a good thing. Um, yes, ma'am. I missed the question of the day. So what was that about Bluetooth? So Marty came up with the question of the day today, and it was wearables. Do you have any? Are you fond of them? What do you like about them? Whether that be watches, headphones, glasses, uh, rings, et cetera. So wearable well, the technology. only wearable, the only wearable Bluetooth device I have, which I have not set up because uh, I'm not quite sure how to do it, is um, Bluetooth earbuds 
and I have not set those up. I bought those two years ago at Walmart, but I, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to charge them up or um, how to uh, how to set them up. So I haven't done anything. So if I want to wear uh, earphones, headphones with my iPhone, I use um, ones that I talked about before that are I use for other devices, and I yeah. just uh, they're they're wired. They're a the wired headset. You... The ones that you got, uh, the Bluetooth ones, are they in a case? They're in a case. So you probably just plug the cable into the case and it charges them. That's typically how they charge. The buds charge inside the case. And then while they're okay. inside the case, you plug the cable into just the case itself on you know on the outside, wherever the plug is on there. And then that'll charge okay. them. It's pretty straightforward usually. I've never heard of cool. any that charge outside of the case if there's a case for them. And then... Uh, there should be directions um, somewhere to set them up. Do you know what kind they are? I no, I'm not sure because, uh, like I said, I, I bought these two years ago, and I really, um, you know, I haven't really looked at the box or the case. But um, they're kind of in a, in, they're nestled in a in in the case. They're kind of nestled nestled in a hard box. So I don't know if the hard box is in the case, but they do come with instructions. I just haven't sat down to really. Uh, read them so um but do they come with their own uh charging uh with their own charger as well the box the box you know the little case that the two buds are in that's the charge mm -hmm. that's how you charge them that's what charges the earbuds up oh wow cool so typically so, when you um, have some of the case what will happen is you'll plug that cable into the outside of the case and that is going to charge them up. But it's also charging the case up as well. So if you're out and about and your earbuds run low, then you can put them back in the case and the case should charge your earbuds up again so that you can use them. And most of them average like one to two full charges. Some go three, but you know you definitely will probably get the full use out of the earbuds the first time when they get low you can put them back in the case and the case will recharge them up you can use them again and uh sometimes they'll even give you a second recharge up from the case so it just nice. depends on how good the bag battery is and the ones that you got and stuff yeah i have to have some sighted assistance to help me work with that because um like i said you know i can i can read the instructions on my own but as far as um setting them up and, you know, making sure the charger is connected properly. That's where I need uh, sighted assistance. So yep. um, once I get someone that can mm -hmm. do that, because I'm not sure if my aide can do that. Um, I don't know how techy she is, but um, if I can get someone to do that, then I can be in business. Yep, also, they go. are a bit, they are a tad uncomfortable because they are in the ear and they feel like, hard plastic yeah, ear molds for hearing aids. So that's another reason why I haven't done anything. Yeah, so I wear a wired it. headset if I want to wear a head, uh, headphones. Oh, right. Perfect, Lori. Which are a I little better. They're, well, thank you. Uh, which, which are a little more comfortable. They're, they're padded on the speakers. So that, um, you know, it's, they're a bit bulky, but that's okay. Um, I use yeah. them for other devices, and I can wear them for six hours, no problem. As and I'm glad they, they don't have any Wi-Fi issues. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Thank you. So if so I have much. any, if I have any other questions, I'll uh, I'll get on later and ask the so, question. All right. Sounds, sounds good. good, Sheila. Who do we got next? Chanel. Hey, Chanel. All right. So you asked a question about wearables, and I just got my Meta Ray-Ban glasses a couple of days ago. My mom wanted something to get me for my birthday, and um. Since everybody has been talking about them, um, that's what I th thought I'd try. And how do you and like what them? What do you think of them? Did we lose her? She muted. Chanel, you're muted. Well, I was fine. unmuted. Oh. Now yeah. you're unmuted again. Welcome. That's now weird. We yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I am sorry. Well, anyway, yeah, I think they're maybe more comfortable than headphones, but I'm, I'm trying to decide. Um, just trying to gotcha. get the hang of asking it stuff. Um, I like it. I, I love it for listening. You know, you can just tap on it and hold. And I set that up for Spotify. Um, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. And Did you get the transition lenses? So they're dark when you go outside and they're light. You're clear when you're inside. I have no idea. I'm totally blind. So um, I don't know. Um, I got the Wayfarers 
Um, gotcha. Yeah. Well, perfect. But Glad to know is, you like them and thanks for sharing. Is um so when you ask it a question, you know, when you say what's look and tell me what this is or whatever, are those stored on the glasses on the phone or in the cloud? Because I know I can find when I just tell it to take it a picture of something, but when you're mm-hmm. asking it, are those on the phone or on the glasses? So, and so those um I do believe are stored in the cloud. They do at least show up in your phone. If you open the MetaView app, there's an AI tab. It's the third one in from the left on the uh app. And then you can go in there and see your previous requests to the Meta Assistant. So. Is it okay? Perfect. All right, Sheila. thank you. Thanks a lot. Yep. Sheila, who do we got next? Bobby. Hey, Bobby. You're muted, Bobby. Am I? There you go. Am I muted then now or? No, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, I was talking to you about this earlier, Michael, and everybody else. Um, I noticed that I put feedback in the Microsoft um thing where I told them I wanted the voices to be shared with all our adaptive screen readers. And I did this like a year ago and got no response. And I think it really bothers me <laughs> that that's all I have to share with that. And another thing I want to share, I am I am using wearables. I am using the Tribit X Free Tune. It's kind of an old headset. I don't know exactly how old it is. I think it's about, when did I get it? I got it like three years ago, I think. I don't know exactly when, but it's Tribit is a very, very nice product. I love their brand. And I also use the Tribit Stormbox Bluetooth speaker as well. It's like, but it's not a wearable, but it can be a wearable if I put it on my arm like a wristband because it has a strap. So you can kind of almost wear it like a watch if your arm is small enough. But yeah, those are the two things I use, the Tribit free, X-Free Tune and the Tribit Stormbox. And I like the X-Free Tune because it comes in a lovely case. Hello? Oh, can, now you we can, can hear, hear you. Can, I, no, no, I was muted. I don't think you guys heard yeah, me. You, I was saying thank you, Bobby. <laughs> uh, did you hear everything? Full transparency. I heard everything you said. Full transparency. We sell Tribit at AT Guys, and I'm really fond of their products. And the sound quality for the price is is remarkable. So if you haven't heard them, check them out. Uh, really great brand. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. You're welcome. I'm glad you heard me. Yep, right. I heard you. You guys I, just didn't hear me. And that was at first, I thought I said we got that. dropped. There no, you they, go. Uh, somehow Michael and Marty both got muted. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Everybody went quiet. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, now, Bobby. Yeah, about the Microsoft thing. What's the best thing I could do since I'm being ignored? Keep emailing so, them. Keep emailing them. Be a pest. Yep. Keep sending your feedback. I know it can get frustrating, but the more they hear from you, then the more the the t- the issue will be come to their attention. Um I, they don't, they probably do not respond to every piece of feedback they receive. So if it's very important to you, then it can't hurt to submit feedback again, especially if it's been over a year. Or you could try and call and maybe talk to someone that might, you know, they might be yep. able to you know, you gotta hear great, you and send it to the right person or the right You got people. a great idea. You just gave me an idea. You didn't say it, but I'll call the answer desk and see what they go. think because I'm tired of using the same we have Sappy 5. The Sappy is so outdated now, and so, I, I can't believe they're still having them in these screen readers that we own. Well, there you go, Bobby. Just give the disability answer desk a call and let us know what they say to you, okay? Yeah, Thanks, Bobby. definitely. Have a Who good do we one. got next, Sheila? Ellen. Hey, Ellen. Hey, how Ellen. you doing? Ellen, you're still muted. Okay, we'll go to Joe and come back to Ellen. Hey, hey Joe. Joe. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Um, I had a question. So I have an Android phone and I am trying to find uh, a good and free, hopefully free, uh, family locator app. Um, so like if I'm out and about and I get disoriented, my wife who has sight can easily like log in to that like partner app and be able to find where I am on a gps it, like, isn't there one called three live 360 or something like that um Michael? there was something 
like <laughs> something like that that I tried, but it it, it was very odd. Mm-hmm. So, um, we tried Family Link, and that was free. But the problem with that is the Family Link treats me as a child, as a minor, mm-hmm. um, and my wife is kind of like the parental guidance kind of per- person. Do you? Um, well, a couple things you can do uh, might be something a little different, but you can always uh, put a tracker like in your wallet or on your keychain or something like that, and then your wife would be able to see where you are at all times by using by, by having that tracker on you. Do you have any suggestions for any such Kyle. tracker? Kyle's really good. They make them uh, for a long time, even longer than Apple has been making their uh, tags. And I'm pretty sure that they make one for the wallet. They make one for your keychain. They have a bunch of different models that you can check out and see what they have. There's also one. I don't know. Some people are adverse, but I like to share options. Walmart has a brand called On, O-N-N, and On has some trackers as well. So Tile and On are the two that I recommend for cross-platformness. Um, and that would be a surefire way. Uh, know that she would always be tracking you. So some people have issues with that. Um, if you need a app specific, Live 360 is one that my sister uses. I don't know about its accessibility. Um, and then Google offers a find my feature, but I don't know if they offer the ability to share your location with others. It might be worth exploring messages to see if that's an option as well. Okay, and so the the second one was O W N O O N O N N, and then what was the first one? Uh, tile, tile, tile trackers. Yeah, yep. Like T I L E. Yep, tile yep. trackers. Okay, they're really Thank good. You. They're they've been making them a long time. They're great trackers. Yep. Do they price up high or they're the same they... as everything else? I think for one tracker, it's around twenty five bucks. And is there a membership or subscription? No, that goes no, no. Okay. You buy just, just a hard sure. piece of hardware, put the software on your phone, and that's it. You know, you load up that tracker into there, and then it will be on her phone, and she'll be able to see where you're at as long as you got that tracker on you. So yep. that's why I say get the one that you can either put in your wallet, because you probably won't leave your house ever without your wallet, or put uh, one on your keychain, because you probably won't leave the house without your keys, you know? Right. Well, thanks, guys. That's yep, real no problem. big help. Yep. No problem. Have a good one. Ellen, are you able to unmute? Hey, Hello, Ellen. Hey, Ellen. My question is on Ellen. There you go. Yeah, we can, can hear you. Me? Okay. On the app Simple Scan, under the heading of destination, you have uh, messages, email, file. If I choose file and I take my picture, where does it go? When you I choose... don't understand the file thing. Are yep, you? So what's the device you're, you're using it on an iPhone? an iPhone? iPhone, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't used that app myself. Have you, Marty? Yeah. Give me a second, and I'll tell you where it goes. I think okay. you can change it and assign where yep. you want it to go. But I'm going to look at it really quick and give me a second. Okay. Yep. So he'll come back to you, Ellen, and we'll. Okay, we'll that's get fine. That that's my only question. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Sheila. Thank while you. he's doing that, who's next? Lynn. More. Hey, Lynn. Hi. How are Hello. you all today? <laughs> Great. And you? Good. So I do have an Apple Watch. And I um, I love it. I've only been a watch user for a year. I did not think I was going to like it. But um, but I do like it a lot. And I also, um, I do have the shocks. And I'm always hanging them around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so easy to... Take them. I'd take them especially to the doctor's office because it's when I when I when I need to call my ride from the doctor's office, it's very hard to hear. Mm. Um after you know, because there's so many people, so much noise and everything. So that very, very handy. I love the shocks. Um I was just wondering if okay, so I just got an iPad <laughs> and it's very different from the iPhone because the screen is so big. Um, but the problem that I'm having, and I know there's a way to do this, I just can't remember what it is. The, um, I'm, I think it's widgets that I'm having that are popping up, um, because it says like weather 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't think, I think that's a widget of some sort. How do I shut that off? So you have 
is this happening like on your home screen? Uh, yes. Yeah, it, it does sound like you have the weather widget on there. Um, I don't use an iPad, but I think the experience is very similar. If it is and or anyone has any feedback, like I tell uh, you incorrectly, please raise your hand and don't interrupt. Uh, but if you locate the widget um, and so you put your finger on the weather, you should be able to flick up to edit mode. And if you double tap, voiceover will say started editing. And then what I do is I flick down once and currently, and know that I'm on beta. So some of this may not work, but this is where I would go to look. Currently you can double tap and it says delete. And then um, it asks if I want to delete the whole widget stack or just the widget. Um, okay. So hopefully that helps you again. That is to touch the weather, flick up to edit, double tap, flick down to delete. If you don't have a delete, then flick down to activate and double tap. And that should delete uh, offer for you to delete the widget then. Okay. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thanks. Lynn. Have a, great, have a day. great one. Who do we got next, Sheila? Darcy. Who do we have in clubhouse? We have two people in clubhouse. The first of them is Diane. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. Hello. Um, so I guess your question is about um, wearables. Yep. Do you use okay. any wearables and do you like them? Okay. Well, I, I do have, um, I have a couple pairs of AirPods. Uh, one mm -hmm. of them is, I think, just a plain AirPod. And the other one is the uh, AirPods Pro. And I do use both of them depending on which one is um, charged more. Um, but I do like the uh, AirPods Pro better. Um, I also have the um, Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. I have the uh, Skylar version, I guess. And um, I try to use them a little bit every day and try to learn something new about them. Mm -hmm. And I have an Apple Watch, but I hadn't been wearing it in like a year because... When I would, whenever I would walk sighted guide with someone and my watch bumped up against them, it would start talking and wouldn't be quiet. So um, I just quit wearing it. And, uh, but now my husband is buying an I, uh, Apple Watch for himself and we're getting ready to trade mine in uh -huh. so he can get like $100 off uh, the cost of his yep. watch. Um, so I, 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 I don't know if I'd buy another Apple watch. I, I, cause I never did find out what was causing it to do what it was doing. There was probably gotcha. some setting that I needed to change and I didn't know what it was. So, so, so if I understand correctly, the, the watch, whenever you brushed it against anything, it would start reading to you, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so there is a setting in the watch set app on your phone. Um, I believe it's called tap to wake and it, that would require you to tap the watch to wake it up. Otherwise it's always going to be awake. And uh, if you slide anything across the screen that could uh, make it more sensitive. So if you wanted to spend time messing with it, that's where I would look for is that setting. And uh, that might fix your experience as well. Is that in the, is, cause I already have my phone set to that setting. Is there a uh -huh. separate setting for the watch? I would double check because I have found, even if I say match my settings on my phone, some weird settings don't come over. So I would double check that that is enabled on the watch app. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm, uh, I think my husband is already ready to send back <laughs> yeah, my watch yep. and trade it in. There, so. there, there you go. Well, thanks Diane. Appreciate That's it. That's what we're going to do. Gonna All right, jump back in. a lot real quick about the scan and the destination. It doesn't say, like, I tried to click on it and uh, messed around with it. It doesn't tell you where it goes, so we'll have to figure this out and get back to you with that answer. I apologize that we couldn't figure it out so quickly, but it's kind of interesting that it doesn't let you pick and it doesn't tell you where it goes. So so if someone else knows, raise your hand. And Darcy, you said we had two in Clubhouse. Who's the other? The other one is JC. Go ahead. Hey, JC. Hey, JC. Hey guys! Oh my goodness, it's been a long while. Wow, it has been. Uh, yes, uh, good to hear my two buddies again. So I'm going to answer my question of the day and a uh, a little uh, uh, sort of a tip, but it will be quick. Um, 
I don't have a wearable, but I am going to, for my birthday this year, I'll be getting myself the Ray-Ban Meta Glasses. And uh, yeah, that's my friend Cecilia. Cecilia, say hi. Hi, everyone. I'm sitting with JC in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. She's, yeah. Yeah, she's one of my good friends that helps me on tech stuff. And yeah, <laughs> anyway. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah, so a little uh, tip bit. Um, I know Jane said that you can actually say the word look and, but you can actually disable that option. But keep in mind that is still in beta. And if you want to disable it, you'll have to be in the early access program. And information can be found by typing in early access meta in the Google search. And once you verify with your glasses serial number and you get a notification in the MetaView app, then you'll be able to go in the setting and turn that follow-up question off so that you, that way you won't have to say look and or say the hey M-E-T-A after each response. So hope that tip yeah. helps. Appreciate that. Thanks for uh, sharing that there, JC. Um, and who do we got next there, Sheila? Albert. Okay. Hey, Albert. Hello. So on the question of the day, um, my wearable is my Apple Watch, which I've had for uh, several years. Um, I've really liked it. Um, I do use the Aftershocks bone conduction, uh, but I think, uh, like uh, you said earlier, they're being displaced by my uh, Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Uh, incidentally, when I, I had apprehension purchasing them, because mm -hmm. of the different size options. So I went to my eye doctor and they had uh, glasses from their vendor and I was able to put them on and have the staff check them out and decide that, yes, that's the size for, you know, my, my face, my head. And um, they then accidentally put in a very light prescription from the days when I still had sight and insurance covered it, and it was like $74 out of pocket with transition lenses. So Nice. Yeah. I, I read between the lines with their accidentally putting a uh, prescription on that, and I'm very grateful. One little thing, uh, well, two, it has given me one false reading. I picked up craft uh, grated Parmesan cheese from the shelf in the refrigerator, and it told me it was craft oven cleaner. Oh, no idea why it mentioned that. But of course, I used my common sense and said, there's no way I would put oven cleaner. Even I don't even know if craft makes oven cleaner. So I oh. rotated the can a little bit, had it read again, and then told me correctly what it was. Um, yep. So yeah, little things will happen with it. Um, and the other thing, if somebody has some ideas, occasionally I will ask it something and it just seems to time out or it will tell me to connect to the Wi-Fi. And I check my phone and I've got strong signal from my carrier and like full bars on my Wi-Fi. So I've had that happen a time or two with mine too. And uh, on the inside of the left temple is a switch. Okay. Sometimes you just have to switch that off, wait about 30 seconds and switch it back on. Give it about another 30 seconds. That turns the glasses off and turns them back on. Right. As we all just, know, technology sometimes just needs to be restarted. Right. Oh, and that reminds me too, a little bit of a tip for people. Like when I was using it and we were traveling a uh, long distance via car, I didn't need it all the time. And I thought, why yep. am I letting it eat up battery? So I turned that off. And there I still wore them as glasses, but because you know. they still worked as glasses. So great, yeah. Albert. Thanks a lot. Okay, all that's right. all I got. And thanks, you guys. Appreciate you, all the work you do. It's nice that you guys um provide this for people like me who are trying to catch up to your skill level. I mm -hmm. don't think I ever will, but I'll oh, well, you're very welcome. She all right. Who do we got next? She Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Come on, how you doing? Good. How are you? I, I don't know what was the question of the day was. The question of the day was uh, wearables. So, do you, you use wearables, glasses, ring, watch, any of that stuff? If you do, what do you use? What's your favorite? Or if you don't, oh, why not? I do the wearable watch, the Apple Watch, and and uh, when you keep bumping on people or 
or somebody would like keep like, what's that noise? What's that noise? Tap it three times to shut it up, just like your phone. There you go. There you go. Tap the phone uh-huh. three times and that'll turn it off. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, so what I got a question of, you know how calendar when it was on paper when you have this and you can, you know, like keep going back to you know the calendar. Okay, on the calendar on the phone or the um uh or the you know iPad, okay, like I um you know, put in my calendar, um, got my hair done or mm-hmm. have went and got my hair in a service. But then how do you go back to that calendar day that, you know, like you don't remember what days you had, you know, did this or whatever. You know, like are you yeah. supposed to just put the on calendar the, in and then forget what it, everything in the past? On on the top, um, there are three options, I believe. And you can do the month view, the week view, and the day view. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to go on the left side, there's a back button on the left side, which will take you back and it will show you all the months for the year. And you pick the month that you want if you need to look at a previous month or ahead of a month. And then it will open that month up in your main view. And then you can look at that view. If you want to go back to the month that you're currently in, you would go back up to the back button, go back. And then you'll have the whole year there. You find the month that we're currently in, you know, August, and then you click that and it will take you right back to that month again. And when you go to the, there's one of the views, I can't remember which one it is, but when you're in uh, one of the views, it has the month of the calendar that you're in on the top. And then it has your events for that day in the bottom, which is, mm-hmm. then you could see what you're doing that day. And if you yeah, don't but remember if what I'm month, looking for a specific thing and I don't remember what day or what month, yep. you could that's search. what I can't figure it out. Yep. So the there's search a search box. across the top bar where Marty was talking about. If you move your finger over two more spots from the back button, you'll find a search button. And if you double tap on that, then that'll bring up the keyboard. And then when the keyboard's up, you could type in hair appointment and hit search and it'll bring up all the hair appointments that it has on your calendar. Oh, okay. There you go. Play with that and see I if that I thought helps that was the end. All right. Thank you. Yep, no yep. worries. Restoria. Hey, Restoria. Hey, Restoria. Hi. I have Hi. a Galaxy wearable watch. Um, but my question is uh, I saw somewhere where you could link your Outlook contacts with uh, at one of your. Uh, Office, uh, like um, Excel or Access, is are you familiar with that, or should I email you? I would drop a message to. I would call the Disability Answer Desk with Microsoft because it sounds like what you're trying to do is bring the contacts that are in your Outlook into other Microsoft apps like Excel and Access, right? Yes. Yeah, so I would reach out to uh, Disability Answer Desk. Do you use Be My Eyes on your uh, iPhone or Android? Uh, very rarely. Well, what I would do then is open Be My Eyes if you have it. Uh, okay. Tap on the service directory at the bottom and mm-hmm. then uh, locate technology and then Microsoft. And you can call the Microsoft Disability Answer Desk. They can see through your phone and help guide you through what you need to do on your computer. Oh, okay. But thanks. Yep. No worries. Thanks a lot. And that's free of charge. Um, I believe worldwide. Sheila, who do we got next? Diana. Hey, hey Diana. Diana. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I just found out just a couple of weeks ago about the Meta glasses. And I have two questions. First of all, is there, uh, I noticed that there's like Skylar and Wayfair. Is it, what's the difference between the different models? Is it just a style thing or is there different features? And then the second question is, um, how do they compare? Because I've heard from other people that document reading. Now, I don't know because I've not ever used them or seen them. But document reading is not Mm -hmm. their strong suit. How do they compare to like something like the OrCam My Eye Pro or something like that? What kind of features do they have for reading documents, saving them, navigating, that kind of thing? So at this time, uh, first of all, let me answer your first question, the easy one. Uh, the the Ray Band, um, uh, Wayfair, and Skylar are different styles and shapes. I believe the Skylar is more rounded, and the Wayfair has uh, uh, 
more direct corners, so they're flatter edges uh, around the lenses. Now, related to reading documents, they are not the best tool to read documents with. Um, there, there are some more blindness-specific tools. Uh, Gregory mentioned the Celeste glasses. Uh, there's the ARX headset. There's the Envision glasses. And then there's also uh, other other blindness related glasses that will do better currently at reading documents. Um, and if you ask it to read a document, there are ways you can trick it to giving you more information, but I have never consistently been able to have it read a document to me. So if that's important to you, but you want to try glasses out, or you want to see what that experience could be like, uh, specific for a blind person, I recommend checking out Celeste, uh, mainly because it's a hundred to $150 to get started. And if you don't like them, you just return your glasses and stop paying for them. Okay. All right. Do you so, know if they're going to be building in more document I, reading type I features? I don't into know, the but I do know there is a meta developer event at the end of September. I uh, don't know what's going to be announced there or any details about that, but usually that's when we learn a little bit about what's coming up in the next versions of the software or the glasses. Okay. Thank you so much. No worries. Who do we got next, Sheila? Petra. Hey, Petra. Hey, Petra. Patrick, you're still muted. I just, I just have to say, uh, first of all, with the Apple Watch, I had the same problem with sighted guide and the watch talking. And I discovered that there's a setting where if you just turn the crown, the watch would stop talking and you can disable that. And that helps wow. a lot so that the crown is not rubbing against someone's clothing and starting to talk. Uh, I've disabled mine long enough ago. I forget how to do it, but it's probably on the app on the phone. Yep. The other thing about the meta glasses real quick, I just discovered something that cracks me up. I happen to be listening to this show with my AirPods. I have an Apple watch. I have AirPods uh, as far as wearables. I do have the meta glasses. I'm still learning about them. And I just learned something right now because when I listen with my AirPods Pro 2, Everyone sounds just a little bit muffled. There's too much bass and not enough treble. So just because we were talking about the glasses, I slipped mine on while I'm listening with my AirPods. It switched over to the meta glasses, and I can understand you a whole lot better. They're much better sound quality, and they just switched over automatically from the AirPods to the glasses. And about misidentifying things, the glasses have called my dog everything from a dog, which is to a bear, a fox, and a coyote. So <laughs> you have to watch out. They're not as reliable as they may become later, but I'm part of the uh, IRA. Uh, I'm waiting to be able to test the, the glasses with IRA when that avail availability happens. But I happen to love my meta glasses. And I think for the price, they can't be beat. Well, thank you, Petra. Appreciate that. And Thanks, you should be Petra. careful with those foxes in your home. Yeah, at least it got it like somewhat close. It didn't say fish, whale, or dolphin. <laughs> yeah. Sheila, who, who do we got next? Stephanie. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Fine. I had one of those things before uh, with the uh, with the, the, with the glasses, whatever. The problem is. When I try to plug in the AirPods, sometimes the Air, uh, one of the buds, one of the AirPods don't work. I wonder if it's because of the AirPod itself. You know, it has to do with. I mean, they should both be... they work in tandem or they w work singularly. If one of them's not working when you put it in, you could call Apple. And if there is actually a problem with the one earbud, they will they can send you one new earbud. If, you're, uh, if your uh, AirPods are still under any kind of warranty. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, it seems like products are not made to last as long as they're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, they definitely can... don't last as long as they used to. That's for sure. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, before, appreciate that. Before we take the last hand or two that we have in this last 10 minutes, I just want to mention, if you haven't seen it yet, check out joinbits.org slash office, and uh, you can learn about the, the free office course that is going on. Sheila, uh, well, it's starting September 9th. Sheila, who do we got next? I think it's Catherine, 970 ending in 894. Hey, Catherine. Or 874, sorry. Hi. Um, 
Ms. Catherine, I have a quick question about the medical office. Um, I called Best Buy and I talked to them and I was looking for um, the yellow tint. They're charging more for that than just um, the base price of two ninety nine. Um, so the reason why I was going with Best Buy is because they have a 14 day return policy. Do you know of any other uh, places like Lenscrafters or those? I haven't called them yet that yep. has uh, a better return policy. Thank you. So I can't speak for everyone's return policy. I will say check with Lenscrafters. Um, I do believe Amazon has them. Some people have bought them off of Amazon. So if you're comfortable with returning that way, that's an option. And know that some style slash type of lenses can cost more. The base rate is $2.99. So I would definitely check around and see. And hope that helps you, Catherine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to make some more inquiries because... Um, before I purchase them. And then I have another really quick question. Is there a way, if you're on a bunch of um, Google Groups .io and and you're going to go have uh, surgery, so, I'm going to have my hip replaced, yeah. and you want to put them... Mm -hmm. Catherine, uh, I, I know your question, and uh, I because I heard you yesterday on Tech Talk. I believe Larry is oh, yeah. going to help you with getting that taken care of, so your group oh, is oh, suspended. Okay. Yep. So perfect. Okay. I'll Thanks direct that Catherine. to Larry. Thank you. Awesome. Mm, See you. Who do we got next? Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Okay. I'll Teresa. try to be quick. There you are. Okay. Okay. My wearable is I've got a, a, a Bluetooth headset that has a, um, one piece that goes into the device, you know, where there's a three, 3.5 millimeter jack. Mm -hmm. And uh, I use that a lot, you know, for those things that still have those uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks. Example, last night, I still have a third generation Alexa. Oh, I hope I don't know, make everybody else's go off, but <laughs> the A lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, I asked her to play CNN from TV, and I um, I plugged that in, I plugged the headphones in, and I was able to hear um, most of the uh, speeches the DNC. Well, good. I'm glad to and hear that. that so other. that's your wearable. Yeah, that's my wearable. I don't have a, a smartphone. If I did, I would definitely think about the um, the meta glasses because this way I could uh, have them read uh, things and tell me objects and things that are in front of me. Gotcha. Well, thanks, Teresa. Appreciate it and uh, appreciate but your participation. <laughs> I have not closed the door on that, uh, so, you know, <laughs> yep. it's down the road. There's always room for opportunity. It all comes down to what you need, and maybe right now it doesn't fit your needs, but uh, you know the resources well, to go to when you budget. need help. Right. It just, just doesn't fit my budget, but you I never know. I'm wondering if they can be paired with an iCloud Touch. No, they cannot add uh, to the best of my knowledge cannot. because the, you have to install an app on newer iOS versions, so. Thanks a lot, okay. Teresa. This I one has 16.8. Yeah, I believe yeah, they have to be at least 16. I could be wrong. Um, so okay. definitely. Thanks a lot. And uh, Sheila, who's the oh, last hand we have? Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Maybe. Okay. Uh, um, there you are. Is Lori still in the call? Um, she may be. Go ahead. Because what we're gonna say, I just want to. Yes, I'm still on the call. Yes. Yes, I just want to tell you, Lori. Um, if you purchased earbuds, two when did you per you purchase them two years ago? Something like yes. that. Yeah. 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 You may you may not be able to charge them, and I'll explain to you why. Because if you let something just sit in a box for a long period of time, I know I did that with something. I think it was like the NLS player. Some something I let it sit too long, and yeah. I wasn't using it. What happens is when you go to charge that device, you may not get any charge at all because some oh, wow. certain yeah. things in life you have to. I'm not saying all devices, but some devices, even if you're not going to use them and you can't remove the battery, you got to charge them up. Like just like a car battery, if you let a car sit for a long time, it dies. So sure. if you never charge them up, um, I wish you good luck, Lori. You may not be able to charge them at all. Well, so just well, keep that in mind. For sure, yeah, Bobby. thanks, Bobby. Thanks. I appreciate it. All Thank right. you. Welcome. 
And I believe that is all of the hands, right, Sheila? Lori had her hand up. I'm not sure if she had a question. Oh, Lori, do you still have a question? Yeah, I still have a question, and I'm unmuted. So, um, because I was answering uh, Bobby's uh, comment. Um, Uh My quick question is, do... um, do Bluetooth keyboards come with their own charger? Yes. In most cases, a Bluetooth keyboard will come with its own charger, okay? Okay. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks a lot. And Marty, you want to go ahead and wrap it up? And- yep, yep. Thanks, Darcy and Sheila, as always, for helping us out. We always appreciate all you do for us. So thank you, thank you. If you guys want to reach out to us, you can email us at feedback at unmute.show with any questions, comments, or anything else. And you can also check out our website with all the latest and greatest going on over there. And that is unmute.show. And everyone have a super great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks.